Oh, right, the mail's here. Woohoo! Yeah! Hey, Mikey! Yeah? Want some pizza? Radical, dude! Hey, Kakarot! What's up, Vegeta? Today's the day I will finally defeat you! Oh, right, bring it on! Uh, yeah. Everyone, back to your places! He's coming! Oh, right, I can't wait to open this! Oh, look, we have another friend! I hope they're strong! I hope he's cute! What? Dude Retro Toy Reviews. There we go. We got right here, we got the Omnimon or a Megamon. I did not know that they were making Digimon action figures until I think it was right before Christmas. I started seeing these on the shelves at Target and I just about freaked out when I saw War Greymon and then Omnimon and um, Beelzemon. So they're like, War Greymon and Beelzemon are like my top two. And Omnimon, he, he's way up there. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. I got the War Greymon already and the Beelzemon already off to the side. We're going to bring War Greymon out later on towards the end as I do the size comparison with other figures. But here's the back where you see War Greymon, Beelzemon, and Omega Mon. Nothing too exciting down there, but it just shows the figures that are out right now. Hopefully they come up with more. I really hope they come up with more. Here's the side. Let me bring this up. You just see a, like a little nice shot of Omnimon. You got the front, of course, and on the side, you got some Japanese writing. I'm pretty sure this probably says, like, Digimon or Omega Mon in Japanese. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I have a very good feeling it's one of those two. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and open him up. Let me move my mouse out of the way. Right, nice. Out of the package. So there's no accessories. That's surprising. But he does come with this giant sword and the arm cannon from Metal Guru Mon. So I guess it's not too surprising. I guess asking for accessories. I mean, he doesn't really have anything to hold. So <laughs> I don't know what they would give him. So I guess can't complain there. How am I going to cut these tabs? Or Pretty tight in there. Let me do this. There we go. There we go. Oh, and then one right here, right across the crotch. There we go. Ooh, okay. Already starting to get some impressions of the cape. Not a fan of that, but we'll get to that in a minute. There we go. That was a little tough. Got this plastic right here in the back. And there's like some kind of sticky plastic tape material. Oh, right. This right here is Megamon. Looks pretty dang cool. He's pretty plain as far as detail goes. There's not much that they could do for the sculpt to really make him stand out. I mean, this is pretty much what you would expect a Omnimon figure would look like. Nothing back here. 
And the cape is not, it's a little pliable, not too much though. So it's really stiff. Like, and that's like a decent amount of force just to get it to bend that much. And it just right back to normal. All right, so let's get down to the articulation. So in the head, you got, it goes up, down a little bit. Goes side a good amount, so that's good. So yeah, you don't have much with the head. I was seeing if there's anything blocking. It doesn't look like there's anything blocking or preventing the head. It just doesn't go back that far. And just goes down just a little bit, but good side to side. And with your arms, you got, ooh, there is a nice like butterfly joint right there. That's cool. I was not expecting that actually. And it goes up and all around. You got, is that a single? Looks like a single elbow joint. Yeah, just a single elbow joint, elbow joint, so it goes 90. And of course there's no uh um wrist. It does look like there is a swivel. If I hold that, there is a swivel right down in there. Oh, right here. You can see that. There's a swivel right there. So that is good. But of course, yeah, there's no wrist, no or, or nothing like that for any articulation there. And then here goes all around. This side, not much of movement with the butterfly joint, but that's because you have this big spike shoulder piece. So you're not going to get much there. That's just about all you're going to get, just that little bit. And same over here. Single elbow, uh, elbow joint. And is there a, yep, there is a swivel right below the elbow. So that's good. Not much detail. Oh, actually really no detail really on the inside of the cannon. I was hoping maybe there'd be like a red or yellow kind of like flame fire effect or something like that. Like, like there is a blast, but no, nothing there. Is there anything? Uh, it feels like it wants to do something, but you're not getting much. It does turn all the way around. <laughs> so that's pretty handy, I guess. Then you got, does not go up at all, but that's because you got your leg joint right here. It's just hitting, it's just hitting the waist, the upper thigh. So you're not getting anything. It does not drop down to kind of get out of the way, but he goes up all the way. So you can kick as high as you want, pretty much. And then the cape prevents him from really going back too far. I mean, you can kind of get it out of the way, but I mean, you could, if you wanted to get him in a quick pose, but he's not going to stay on the shelf like, you know, in that position, really, the cape's just going to slowly push the leg back down over time. Let's see what kind of knee joint we got. It looks like. Oh. OK. <laughs> so it looks like the knee joint is just a single. <laughs> There's no double knee. It does bend. It looks like it does about 90. <laughs> Let me pop this back on here. It looks like it just popped off that, that little ball joint. So that's super easy to pop off. So be careful with that. And then you got a nice ankle that goes up and down. Is there any pivot? A little bit, not much. And pretty much that's it as far as articulation goes. I don't think I've missed anything and he's because he's pretty standard. Nothing really too crazy uh, as far as articulation goes. But I mean, for a Digimon figure, which 
we haven't had any good quality Digimon figures in a long time, so that are like a decent price. So this is actually pretty good. I I'm I'm actually you know pretty happy about this. I think it was only I got them for twenty bucks on Amazon. I've seen them in stores. No. Yeah, Amazon. I got him for twenty bucks on Amazon, and he was at Target, and I believe he's twenty dollars at Target too. So not too bad for twenty bucks. Pretty good Digimon figure. I like him. Now let me go ahead and set this camera up so we can go ahead and get some size comparisons down. All right. So you got your Omnimon right here. So it looks like. He is going to be top of his horn. I think he's about seven inches. Get that straight. So the top of his helmet. Oh, okay, no, he's about six and a half. So he's right at six inches. His horn puts him at six and a half. It's not too bad. Pretty decent size, especially if you want to put him in other scales and other lines of action figures, which we're going to do right here. But first, let's see how he compares up against War Greymon. This figure is awesome, War Greymon. I love this figure. But yeah, so he is a lot taller than War Greymon. Looks like War Greymon only stands he stands under just under six inches. So he's taller than War Greymon, which he should be. He is taller than War Greymon in, in the show. So that makes a lot of sense. Now, let's see. See how he looks up against a Lightning Collection Ryu Power Ranger. And he should be right at six inches because that's usually, you know, Mar uh, Hasbro does a pretty good job of kind of keeping the figures all in scale. Usually they're, they run six and he's just about right at six, just a little under. So he's slightly shorter than Omnimon if you kind of compare him right up next to like the top of his helmet. He's a little bit shorter. But when you include the horn he's a lot shorter but he looks pretty good he looks pretty good next to your omnimon and i like using him because i don't have any marvel legends and i know there are a lot of people out there that collect marvel legends and black series and even lightning collection so he is a good figure to use as kind of a basis for a lot of the six inch scale figures Right here, we got something a little bit bigger. We got a Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, 40th Anniversary He-Man. These figures, they are, I believe they're seven inch scale. So he is going to be taller than Omnimon. Or Omegamon. I'm just going to call him Omnimon for the rest of the review. I know it says Omegamon on the package, but I'm used to calling him Omnimon. So, that's him next to a 7-inch scale figure. Nowhere, he doesn't compare at all. Um, So, if you want to kind of him to be on, on a shelf and kind of blend into your collection, I would stick to 6-inch uh, scale or a little bit smaller. I do have something a little bit smaller right here. I got a I got a SHF Common Rider 01. They are pretty small figures. I'm sure you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I got a lot of different uh figures. <laughs> but yeah, so Next to the SHF, Omnimon is tall, so he does actually look pretty good next to an SHF figure, since if you want him to be taller, it's going to work. But this is what he looks like next to one. These are pretty small figures, so 
that's what he's going to look like next to them. And that right there is Omnimon. I really like this figure, especially since I have the War Greymon already. I have the War Greymon and I have the Beelzemon already. So I ha already have the three. I am hoping that they release more. Like, give me a uh, uh, Angemon, Angelomon. Um, give me a Devimon, Myotismon, Gerudamon. Gerudamon would be a good one. I would love to see a Gerudamon. Any of those humanoid type Digimon would look really cool in action figure form. So I'm hoping that they come out with, with some more. I really love this line. That is awesome. And the quality is pretty good, especially for the price. $20, quality is good. The leg did pop off, so be careful with that. But as long as you don't bend the leg too much, I don't think you're going to have any worries. If you Because if you try to extend it and get it to go too far out of the way, like if I try and push it up too much or out too much, the, it will probably pop off the peg. But other than that, I don't think you're going to have any issues and I think you should pick them up if you're interested.